Yo, what's up, everyone? It is the Yetman channel. It is Thursday, <clears throat> Thursday, the 29th of January, 2015. I'm your host, Yetman. I got an article in front of me from WND under the column Faith. It was published 17 hours ago. Um, doesn't say who published it, but it is a WND exclusive. Media blackout. They black out 200,000 marching Americans. So, news outlets slam for ignoring massive pro-life event. Hmm, I wonder why. Anyways, let's get into this. An estimated 200,000 people joined in a march for life in, Janu in, uh, in Washington, D.C., bringing to the streets in front of Congress their plea for protection of the unborn. Yay! There's people doing something about it. That's cool. There was double the number of people that go to even the biggest football games or indoor concerts. Man, that's impressive. You can see that the, the prairie fires of liberty, as Ron Paul said, is starting to ignite. You know that it does come down to the grassroots of this country to change this country, man. It does. It, it is up to us. You know that our country was built as a republic. It's consent of the governed that makes our country so unique. The consent of the governed, that idea. Our country's an idea. It's not, you know what I mean? It's not like other countries. It's born on an idea. And this idea of, of liberty, it must be manifested by all of us. We all have to fight for it. We all have to pursue truth and defend liberty. I like to say that. I got that little saying from the college that I go to. I like to go to um, Hillsdale College because they teach you history rightly. And I would encourage anybody to go get their education there. But anyways, um, let's see. Yet the establishment media was virtually absent. WND editor and CEO Joseph Farah has joined with Media Research Center and more than 20 pro-life groups in uh, denouncing the establishment TV networks for failing to cover this year's March for Life held last week. I mean, the, they, the people that control the media, the government, man, they are making themselves really obvious by, by, you know, not giving them coverage. Like when Ron Paul was running for president, you know, back in, you know, the election, uh, he was blacked out by the media. He, his rallies were attracting thousands of people and the media did not cover any of it. When, you know, people like Rick Santorum and stuff were like having to pay people just to come to their rallies. It's because the, the, the government has an agenda. The people that have the, the progressive liberals are out of control. They're nut jobs. So they don't want to give us a say. They want to try to black out our talking points so that we don't wake anybody up. Because honestly, we have reason and logic and history and all those boring things that some people think about uh, that as boring on our side. There are, they are on our side. If we open our mouths and actually tell people the truth with conviction, I think we could change our country. We have the ability to uh, make a difference right now. But if we don't take advantage of that now, that, that advantage that we have now, is not, it's going to be taken away from us. It's going to get harder. So you should use your voice now. It's, it's much easier now. According to MRC, CBS was the only major broadcast network that covered the march, and the coverage was limited to 15 seconds during a discussion of moderate Republican opposition to the pain-capable Unborn Child Protection Act. In the meantime, NBC, ABC, and Spanish language networks Univision and Telemundo did not mention the march at all. Oh man, I have such a, a burdened, weighty heart for my people because my, my people, my Hispanic people, I think that they, they hold on to this, uh, this disgusting thing, man, that we call abortion because it's so in the culture to have, we're all so sexually centered, man, in the Hispanic community. That, that we don't even think about, you know what I mean, stuff like unborn ch children and stuff like that. It's uh, something that I think more advocates of the Hispanic community need to come out and they need to start telling our people, our people, yeah, I'm a Hispanic, they, those are my people. We need to tell our people that that's wrong, man, because uh, it's genocide uh, of the unborn. You know what I mean? Uh, what we're doing here in this country with the unborn is worse than... Uh, what Hitler did. It really is. We make a lot of dictators look like Boy Scouts with what we're doing with the unborn here. We're all, we all have blood on our hands, dude, because of this, because we're letting it happen. We should know better than this. Did you know that in the Bible, when, uh, in the book of Leviticus, that it was a law for them not to give their children up to sacrifice them to Molech? How much different is that, that what we're doing today than what they were doing back in the day when they were going into Canaan and, uh, uh, you know, adopting these pagan 
rituals. What is so much different to, from what, what they were doing to what we're doing now? I don't see a difference at all. We're sacrificing children to the devil, my friend. Because it is the devil because you're doing it for selfish things. You're doing it because... Uh, you know what I mean? You could give them up for adoption or something, man. It just It's just sad that we do this, man. I mean, my heart really hurts for this. It's a, I could imagine that this could have easily been me. That You know what I mean? This could have easily been you too. We, the, the unborn does not have a voice. You know? All in favor for abortion, raise your hand. Well, the unborn can't raise their hand. They have no say. They're not born yet. Doesn't mean that they're not human beings, though. The evolutionists, the eugenicists, the atheists like to push the idea that we're uh, uh, you know that we're not really truly human beings yet and all that you know the stuff of great you know murders of the past is, is all of these ideals of atheistic evolution and whatnot more more murder in the world than all religious wars combined by the way is all these eugenesis nonsense so it's not surprising when the big media ignore the large gatherings in Washington year after year of hundreds of thousands of pro-life activists, but it is unprofessional and betrays their absolute bias, Farah said. Other organizations that have joined MRC in condemning the establishment media include the Catholic League, Liberty Council, the Hispanic Leadership Fund, thank God, Concerned Women for America, and Human Life International. Troy Newman, co-author of Abortion Free, your manual for building a pro-life America, one community at a time, said he thinks the media are trying to protect a certain narrative about abortion. Well, the, the, the mentally ill left thinks that it's, uh, it's against women's rights. You see, the, the left has a very perverted view of what civil rights are, what, ci what civil liberty is. Uh, it's not a civil right for women to be able to do something that, it has, that, that they don't have the power to do. That you don't have the right to take anyone's life. That's not your life. You're not allowed to kill people. That's a, that's a, that's a moral law and it is a law that is established in our constitution. You're not allowed to kill people. That, that unborn baby is not you. It may be inside of you, but it is not you. It, it is a scientific fact that the blood of the mother does not go into the child when your baby is inside of you. The blood is what it makes the life. That's why God tells you not to eat blood is because the life uh, is in the blood. Now, when you're a baby in your mother's womb and you're being born and developed and all that and you're being shaped by God, you're actually, God's putting that blood in you. You are not getting the blood of your mother. You're getting your own blood. You're, you make your own blood in your body. So, you know what I mean? This whole concept of it's your body, you can do whatever you want is a lie. It's not your body. And anyone giving you that is deceiving you. So the March for Life is the largest annual civil rights march in the, in the world, the Newman told WND. For the national media to acknowledge this fact would contradict their premise that one, abortion is a good thing. Two, the country is firmly pro-abortion. And three, the pro-lifers are a small, insignificant group of religious extremist nutjobs. Yeah, I know. They love to talk so much garbage about us Christians, don't they? Don't, don't, don't try to suppress it out there. The mainstream media tries to demonize us. There was a cop that came out that was trying to say that us Christians are homegrown terrorists. And that people should beware of us. Did you know that we're on the same list? Christians. Regular Christians. We're on the same list as Al-Qaeda, as a threat to national security. Did you know that? Makes you wonder, right? What the heck is the government up to right now? Well, they got an agenda. You can call it Agenda 21. You can call it whatever you want. But it has to do with soft killing us. Population control. They don't want you here. The elite look at us like we're a burden. Like, look at all these stupid, poor, sad people. Let's just kill them all. Let's just kill them all and get rid of them. That's how they think. It's disgusting. It really is. Um, Newman is president of Operation Rescue and a member of the MRC Coalition continued. <clears throat> In my humble opinion, the media is an extension of the far left. Like the Saul Alinsky's and the weird, uh, you know, the, uh, what's that one, that one woman's name? The really, really, really weird one. The one that's super hardcore wicked and weird. She talks, she was super hardcore left. I want to say Ayn Rand, am I right? Ayn Rand, is she the one? But anyway, like, yeah, there's a, there's so many weirdos on the left, dude. Like, Alinsky was a mob guy. And that guy, he, he was, he became a professional shakedown, shakedown artist politically. There are a lot of people on the left, especially Obama, who have mastered this Saul Alinsky type of political game. It's a, it's a gangster mobster type of being a politician. It's a, it's a way of 
being a coercive usurp usurping scumbag it's it's a it's an art of the devil i would say uh so it reports only the approved propaganda and ignores the obvious truths. George Orwell's 1984 has come to life in 2015. The national media is the ministry of truth. Farah agreed the, the media are becoming Orwellian. As a journalist, senior newspaper executive and media entrepreneur for more than 35 years, I'm genuinely ashamed of what my industry has become, Farah said. Not only do they avoid the debate and discussion of the sanctity of life, they seek to distort the issue by hiding gatherings with the vigor uh one the vigor one would expect only a in a totalitarian closed society with a government controlled media so mrc president brent bozell did not hold back blasting the media for the lack of coverage if there was a few dozen hipsters protesting corporate benefits while taking selfies with iphones the networks would have wall-to-wall -wall coverage absolutely the the left caters to the hippies like the like the uh like the trendies because the the trendies and the hipsters are all about being you know oh let's just sing kumbaya and hold hands oh, oh oh sorry that doesn't work in reality dude they cater to your ignorance and they make you guys a faction against everything that is a republic they turn you into a majority tyranny pretty much um so anyway let me get through this already um the networks have okay so the media cannot be bothered to cover 2000 200,000 pro lifers who would, who uh came to Washington in the middle of winter to march for the unborn it's a, it's shameful if you're throwing molotov cocktails at police officers the media will provide sympathetic coverage to your cause he said if you're standing up for the most vulnerable in our society the media will turn a deaf ear with each passing day, the media continue to hemorrhage their, their credibility. Yes, the pro-lifers are the heroes of our day. They are giving a voice to the most vulnerable, unborn, uh, you know what I mean? Th this is what America's about, is standing up for the little guy. And, you know, nowadays the media tries to go after capitalists, anybody from who runs a hot dog stand to anyone who is on NASDAQ. Anybody who makes money is an enemy, and they turn everybody against them with a narrative of a revisionist uh, history um lesson that they give to everybody it's it's total indoctrination i don't even know how to put it into a coherent sentence it's so absurd but as long as you're a hipster that has oh i deserve everything for free so i'm gonna start shooting people that's the kind of people they want in this country licentious spoiled brats with with uh with uh, an entitlement complex so anyway david Kupil uh anyway um Instead of covering the march, the major TV networks devoted time to the New England Patriots deflate gate controversy, sidecar dogs in, the, in America, and Prince Andrew's sex scandal, uh, scandal, according to MRC. So David Kuplian, WND's manager, managing editor and the divining force behind the monthly news magazine Whistleblower, said, The big media have been shunning pro-lifers for decades. I remember reporting back in 1989 how... The Washington Post devoted a dozen stories to a major pro-life demonstration in, in D.C., even providing a map and direction to the upcoming rally. But a year later, the uh, gargantuan rally for pro for life uh, 90, uh, which attracted approximately 350,000, according to aerial photos, was graced with one a 13-inch story and one photo on page B3. At the time, Richard Harwood, the Post's ombudsman, wrote about the non-coverage this way. The pro-life event stirred no juices at the Post. Um, many editors were unaware it was taking place. Journalists here, uh, managing editor Leonard Downey thinks, um, not only are not part of the anti-abortion movement, but don't know anything, but don't know anyone who is. The movement is seen as one of those fundamentalist fringe things somewhere out there in the middle, in, in middle America or Dixie. Those are not the circles in which we travel or from which we draw intellectual nourishment as one of the last weekend's editors put it i didn't even know this was anything important yeah because liberals are living in candy land those people are so detached from reality that it's mind-boggling so kuplian is author of the marketing of evil and how evil works thank you god bless you for joining me today this is an important issue you guys if you call, if you consider yourself patriotic and american stand up for the unborn now this has gone on for too long we have killed something about like 40 billion or something it's something ridiculous. I, I honestly don't even know the number. But the figure will blow your mind. It should blow your mind. It should actually make you fall on your knees and pray to God that he doesn't just rain fire and brimstone on us right now. It's that bad. God bless you guys, man. Have a good day.